Hey there, everybody, and welcome back to Resident Evil 2. Marvin is right around the corner here. Last time we left off, we made it back to the Raccoon Police Department. And we had just opened up the shutters up on the second floor over here. And we gained access to the balcony, and we left some items up there. But I've been doing some thinking, and before we go back up there, to check that out. I really don't think it's a great idea to leave a liquor kicking around. So let's check our, our ammo situation here. Let's take out two more gunpowders. Combine those for some more pistol ammo. Let's move our shotgun shells down there too. So we're going to go past Marvin. We're going to go into the east side, and we're going to deal with that liquor. Oh, which means I need to get that spare button, huh? Because I want to get that extra inventory space. Here it is. Because we saw a hit pouch in there. And I think, there, I think it's a hit pouch and a combat knife. And we're, we're just going to have to deal with the liquor eventually anyways. kind of stuck right now. No, he's not stuck. I don't want to deal with these two zombies out here. I just want to deal with the liquor. But I kind of have no choice, huh? She's not coming in. Maybe we can run around the long way. Because we had seen the liquor from the hallway by the stairs, by the dark room. Anyways, so we could take a couple pot shots, the liquor from down the hall, draw it in, go behind the wall so it doesn't actually lick us, and once it gets up close, we can finish it off with a shotgun. Because at first, I, I didn't want to waste more ammo killing this liquor. But I was thinking, like, well, we're going to have we're going to have to do it eventually anyways, right? And I want the extra inventory space. So we might as well just just do it now. Get it over with. We still see him. Oh my gosh, his arm. Yeah, we can see him. Got a few shots in. Uh, he's way too close. Oh, hey, you know what? Using some pot shots with the pistol first, if we're able to. That worked out really well. So much so, I can just... Use a shotgun shell and blow her head off. And we're still good, because I only used, was uh, two shells for the liquor. So I think we're good on that. We made it back here. So use the button. And then what were the locker numbers? We have 203. And 103. Two, zero, three. And one, zero, three. There you go, we got a hip pouch. All the other lockers look like they've been opened. And we got an extra combat knife. Cool. Now it might not really seem like it was worth. Let me sneak past this guy in here. Where do you even go? 
I think he's in the office. It might not seem like it was worth it. But I think the extra inventory space will help us out in the long run. So let's put our extra combat knife away. Store that. Uh, we'll do a quick save here. And now let's go to where we left off, past the shutters up here. Yeah, you know, I was thinking that that note that we had gotten by the C4, I think it was. What's it called? Yeah, some guy's scribbling. It's right here. May says, you yell about justice and pride, but how many times did you go against me, your own superior? Yeah, first I said maybe it's a lieutenant, maybe it's a chief. The more we're learning about the chief and how he might be dirty, um, it's really making me think that that's the chief that just went crazy. But I could still be wrong. I don't know. Alright, let's grab a stun grenade. And some extra pistol ammo. So before we go to the balcony, let's check out what's in here. Yeah, we got a heart door. Ooh, it's some shotgun slugs. And I hear... I hear what I think is a, zo is a zombie. Four shotgun slugs, that's pretty good. Yeah, there's a zombie over there. What's this? Okay. I got a large gear. Let's read that. A rusty old gear. It looks like it belongs to some machine or another. Okay. We got an herb. Blue herb. I can't go in there. Oh, we got everything from this room because it turned blue, so... Let's leave the zombie alone. Check out what's on the balcony. Another blue herb. Let's go down the ladder. That's great. So, no ladder, so we can't go back up that way. Amazing. We got... So is this a different helicopter, or is this the same helicopter we had seen before? It's gotta be the same one, right? Oh, we got a red urban here, too. Yeah, it's the same helicopter. We're on the other side of that helicopter now. What does this do? Okay, we got water shooting out of there. So it looks like we need to get the water to come out of here, right? Douse the helicopter? Is that what we were looking at? The pipes come down this way. What is that scent? Oh, something at the door. What the? Just great. Son of a bitch. Oh, she's not dead yet. There we go. I think she's dead now. What does this do? Oh, maybe that switches the water to the other pipe. Uh, the reason why I used a shotgun shell there is I... I want to get into this room. 
And there wasn't really much room for me to kite around these zombies. Got gunpowder. Oh, what's that? That's a little safe room. Someone lose a key? Oh, nice. We got the club key. Yeah, look at that. Okay. Things are looking up. Store these herbs away. Mm, store the gear away. The gunpowder. And the flash grenade. So things aren't looking too bad right now. We got a decent amount of pistol ammo. Oh, there's two more herbs over here. And we got a little bit of shotgun ammo, enough to take out another liquor if we have to. You know, let's just combine these together. Have another full healing item on us. So we switched the water to the other pipe. So is this going to work now? Yes, it does. But just because the helicopter is not on fire, how are we going to get past it? Just like crawl through the... Uh, okay. Hello? Oh, no, we're running. Who is this man? He is huge. Oh, and he's fast. Okay, run around. We're running around him. He's a freaking beefcake. He lifted that whole helicopter by himself. Let's go down here. Oh, he is really fast. Okay, let's check our map. Okay, we can run through the east office, I think. There's a zombie there. What did I... I missed something in here, right? What's this? Oh, there's some gunpowder. Is that what I missed? Yeah. Okay. I don't know who that beefcake guy is, but... I hope he's not going to keep chasing us. Oh, hey Marvin. Alright, let's see. So we got the club key. Our goal right now is to obtain another power panel part. Did it say where it was at? Right here. The clock tower. So we gotta make it to the clock tower. Okay. Store this gunpowder real quick. Now, hopefully, we lost Mr. Beefcake. Uh, yeah, there's a. I remember there's this club door here. Where was the other club door? It was down these stairs, right? There was one at the bottom of those, bottom of those stairs, but I. I don't know how to see that. Not the basement. Oh well. We'll check it out after this one. Hello? Okay. We got a liquor. Let's see if we can just run past. Use the key. Get in there. Close the door. Yeah, I don't know if they can actually access doors. We got a tool. That's a hard door. What's this? Ooh, a grenade. Is that everything from in here? No, there's some gunpowder over there. Do you hear that? I can hear Beefcake Boy. Okay, we're running. 
Uh, I guess Mr. Uh, whatever his name is is going to be chasing us through the whole police department now. Isn't that just freaking fantastic? Heart. Oh my gosh. We almost got hit by a liquor. Where did that liquor come from? Didn't we just kill one out there? What the heck? All right, we got to let's calm down. Let's check our inventory. We got a mechanic jack handle. Nice. So we can use that in the library. Okay. Let's hold on to the grenade. Let's put these two away. Put away the gunpowder, put away the full heal. I can't see. Oh, uh, I think because there's a zombie too close to it. Okay, I remember there was a club door down the stairs over here past the shutter. So we're gonna go check that out before we do the library. I don't know how much of a good idea this is because we could easily get stuck down here. If that, if that guy gets down here, right? I can hear his footsteps up above us. Oh, this is down here. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, it is on our map. Use the club key. So now we can't just take our time doing whatever we want. We gotta, we gotta really book it around here. Confiscation report. August 14th, 1998, RPD, second floor waiting room. Reason for confiscation, a suspicious man was found at the location listed above. When confronted by an officer, he tried to escape by acting confused, but was arrested. A note he had on him was confiscated. Remarks, it's not like everyone doesn't know who it is, but it's Justin Hansen, age 39, city resident, single, and a regular fixture in our jail. He wasn't a bad guy per se, just a bit of a bird brain kleptomaniac. Can't believe he tried to pull a fast one in the police station of all places, though. There's a scrap of paper in a plastic bag. Left six, right two. Oh, that's the combo for the safe for the wait, uh, the waiting room up there, I imagine. Well, this is really bad because I can hear... Oh, you know what that is. That has to be a box for the ruby. How are we supposed to get past him here? Uh, I do not know. I'm guessing that we're going to be taking damage. Can I open this from this side? Come on! You gotta let me out here, game. Oh. Wait, he's running away. I hear his footsteps and they sound like they're getting further away. Okay, I don't I don't hear him anymore. Well, I, I hear him now. Okay, make sure we have our map so we know where we're going. We want to go to the waiting room to open that safe. Okay, what was the combo? Um, right, right here. So left six, right two, 
left 11. So, whoops, I already did it wrong. Left 6, right 2, left 11. Yeah, we did it. Ooh, a muzzle break for Matilda. Examine. A custom part for the Matilda that reduces recoil and muzzle rise by redirecting propellant gases up and away from the barrel. Okay. Wow, our Matilda's really decked out now. Okay, so we have the mechanic jack handle for the library. And we also, oh, we used the club key so we can discard that. We have this ornate box. A jeweled box. Jewels adorn the top of this beautiful box. There seems to be something inside. So I guess let's go to the main hall. Go to the main hall. Use our, I'm, I'm going to guess it's our jewel. To open that. The jeweled box. You can put the gunpowder away. Let's find... Here it is. Combine that with that. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, you know... Well, I know what this is for. I wonder if other people know what this is for. Oh, no. Oh. I was going to say that this is for freaking the, where is it? Underground facility? I was going to say it's for the special weapons case here. But actually, it's a USB. And the USB gets us the lightning hawk in the star's office. Hmm. Okay. Alright, let's do a quick save here. Let's try to get that lightning hawk. Of course he's over here now. Oh. He just ran past us. I thought he just hunted us down. But we can actually... Like, juke him. There were a bunch of zombies behind here, wasn't weren't there? Yeah, there were. So let's go the long way again. I know there's a jack down there, but I want to get this lightning hawk. Oops, wrong way. You gotta be careful though, because the game loves to put liquors everywhere I want to go. So I wouldn't put it past them to put another liquor right by the star's office again now that we have this USB. Okay, we got in. Use the USB. Authenticate. Hell 
yeah. Lightning Hawk. Uh, hold on. We let's make this three. Letters of Stars members. To my bestest stars buds, how are you all doing in that drab old station? Hanging in there, old irons? Isn't that the chief? The reporter said the chief is called irons, right? Me, I just got back from a date with a hot chick. Bet you, bet you can guess what we got up to under her extra large umbrella. Europe is amazing. One month is no is in no way enough to even scratch the surface. Maybe I'll extend my vacation for another six months. Barry, don't even think of coming to join me. Oh, Barry from uh, Resident Evil 1. Wouldn't want, want to make all the cute girls cry, yeah? So you just leave the babes to me. Jill, if Claire tries to contact you, please let her know I'm okay. Oh, so Chris is in Europe. Well, no, Chris is in... I, I don't know. I don't remember the Resident Evil timeline. So is this the... Is this our actual, like, Magnum now? Examine. Yeah, it's a Magnum. 7 round capacity, 50 AE mag. Gas operated action, which is unusual for a semi-auto handgun. It gives it both power and accuracy. Nice. Oh, do, do I need to grab this badge back? Okay. I grabbed the badge back again. Not sure what, what that's going to do for us. Hmm. We got to get to the library now. I know the fastest way is the other way, but there's two zombies. Blocking our access. I wonder, do the zombies just ignore our silent friend? I think he's coming this way. Oh wait, no, I think maybe he's on the second floor. Where is he? No, he's on the he's on the third floor. He is on the third floor. It's hard to tell where his footsteps are coming from sometimes. You know, now that we have the shotgun, or sorry, the magnum, I say we just blow these two guys away with our shotgun. Or actually, why don't we just test out the magnum? Whoa! Oh my gosh, what in the heck are you doing right there, man? You teleport around? Get away from me, okay? I don't want anything that you have to offer me. I do not want to buy a trench coat, even though it looks great on you. And so I'm not shooting him because I just don't believe that I would actually be able to kill him. Um, I don't know if I can. I don't know if I can or if I can't. But I don't want to waste a ton of ammo trying to figure that out. Um, 
There's no zombie here, so let's just go down the stairs. Okay, put the jack in. Amazing. Okay, let's go out to the main lobby. Let's go out to the main lobby. Let's save. Then we'll call there for, for this episode. Marvin, you're doing great, man. All right, let's sort our inventory real quick. Let's put the star's badge away. We can load up our magnum. Because we have magnum ammo right here. And then put the extra away. And I'm going to save here. Let's save up right there. All right. Well, that's going to be it for this episode. Pretty intense episode. We got a new best friend that's following us around everywhere. Uh, not Marvin, um, but Marvin's a, a good friend as well. So thanks for watching, everybody. If you liked the episode, please leave a like. Feel free to subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And I'll see you all in the next one.